welcome back to my channel my name is Malika and today we're going to be talking about the soft life or slow living um I don't this may kind of like I guess oscillate into um or migrate into soft girl season you might have seen that on Instagram I hate all these fucking aesthetics let me just say that like I hate all of these aesthetics because people aren't doing it because they're genuinely this is the way that they want to live it's more of a, a appearance people are more so doing this to appear like their life is so soft and luxe and like blah 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 but in reality it ain't it ain't and i kind of want to talk about that so if you're interested in this video stay tuned Thank you so much to Be Kind for sending out this beautiful jewelry to me. Be Kind is a shop that was created with the mission to protect bee colonies around the world. By partnering with um, Pollinator Partnership and Bee Friendly Farming and other nonprofit organizations, they are able to donate a portion of every purchase on their website towards developing bee colonies and providing them with the best possible conditions. With the code MALIKA20 in all caps, you are able to save 20% on your purchase and a percentage of that purchase will be going to these organizations to help out our bee friends. And also, I want you to know that 100% eco-friendly materials are used in their packaging and their jewelry so let's get shopping and help these bees because we need bees to live and i love nature and i'll see you in the video okay. all right so we are going to talk about slow living soft living soft girl this has no gender for me so whatever like I'm just kind of talking about it. So, you know, as we got into Virgo season, aka September, for those of you not into astrology, um, you started seeing the post online, oh, this is soft girl season, we're slowing down, and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, I keep seeing these posts all over social media, so I'm like, what is this? about so i get on youtube because i know when i get on youtube i'm going to see a whole bunch of videos so i look i click on a lot of people's videos and i listen to a good chunk of them and people are talking about oh soft girl living is about lux and but you can do it on a budget but the whole point of soft girl living is to like release as much stress as possible off your life and to do these luxurious things and then you see some videos where they're like but you can figure out a way to do it on a budget and i'm thinking to myself as somebody who's spiritual and in into self-development i think what you all are talking about is an aesthetic life for me, when I hear the term soft girl living or slow living or soft living, I'm just going to say slow or soft living because we're not putting gender on this because um, anybody can do it. Like for me, it means to slow down, to get in tuned with the flow of your life, whatever flow your life is going through at that time, that's how you need to move. And so for me, slowing down, getting more in touch with our feminine energy, which we all have. I'm not, I'm not debating that here. We all have feminine and masculine energy. Okay. So our feminine side of our energy is the side that likes to relax, that likes to receive, that is more intuitive with the energies that is surrounding our life. And, um slow living also can kind of 
migrate into the products you use or the way that you live your life and, and do things in your life. Um, all of those things can migrate into slow and soft living. Um, so if we're being more intentional about our well-being and about the flow of life that we're already in, we we automatically tend to slow down because we are human beings and not human doings. And I think that we have lived in this society of do, 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 do so much that people think slowing down or soft living is some revolutionary thing when that's what the ancestors was doing. They, they, they were doing this. They weren't in a system of capitalism that is just like work, work, work yourself down to the bones with these social constructs that keep people in poverty and and X, Y, Z, we could go on and on, but they didn't have that. And yes, people still work before somebody says, but they built this and they did that. I know that they still worked. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that things in life took a much slower pace. There, if we wanna make an analogy or whatever, there was more balance between your work and your life, okay? I listened to a, a podcast today um, from the Center of Spiritual Living where I live at, um, but they have them all over the universe. They follow the teaches, uh, teachings of Ernest Holmes, and they were talking about in this podcast how we busy ourselves so much and capitalism created this you know people love to be like oh you're so lazy and that actually comes out of at least i can only speak in america just by doing the research um after slavery was ended you can see in articles and studies where they were trying to say like people are becoming lazier and lazier that's not it People are knowing their value and their worth, and people are wanting quality of life. And you can't have good quality of life if you are working all the time, which is hard not to do in a society that literally, literally has it set up for you to be that way because if not, you may end up on the streets. But luckily, there is a movement being created. They call it quiet quitting. I hate that term because that's not what it is. It's called, I'm not doing more than my job uh, description. I'm not answering emails, phone calls, none of that type of stuff. I'm not going above and beyond for this job. I'm getting I'm doing my job and I'm getting off and I'm going home. And you can really place that with anything. It doesn't have to be a job. You know, it could be anything. I'm doing what I came here to do and I'm not going to do an ounce more because I need energy for my own self. And and anyways, back to the story. They he told a story this morning about how like he had moved to North Carolina and his daughter, um, he was trying to get a play date for his daughter with the people that he met in the neighborhood. And this lady pulled out her phone and was like, oh, let me look at the calendar. Oh, uh, X, Y, and Z isn't available until two weeks from now, but they have a 45 minute window. And he just talked about how like we cram ourselves with so much oh, you're not being productive if you don't have 55 million things to do. And we like thrive off of being busy. And that's like a part of that hustle culture eat too. But this conversation is more complex, obviously, than I'm going to get into. There's a reason behind hustle culture, etc. blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting into all of the ways of that. I'm just saying, like we have made ourselves so busy and all of that. And we think if we're not doing anything, 
then we must not be being productive. And the whole reason why these lifestyles are becoming more prevalent now is because people are awakening to the fact that they need quality of life and that their value of themselves, they are not here to just produce. You inherently were born whole. This society that has been created and can be uncreated teaches us that we are not whole, that we have to do all these fucking things to be, literally to be, and you don't. And from a spiritual standpoint, you do not have to do any of that. You were born whole. And I, I just wanted to talk about this because I see the movement starting. I'm happy. Like, I want people to slow down. I want people to be more intuitive. I want people to like, you know, be more, I want to be softer. I want to slow down. And I have. I take a very slow and soft approach to life as much as I possibly can. It's going to look different for each and every one of us. I just don't want people to feel like this image that they're putting out about soft living and all this shit, it has to look a certain way. It doesn't. If you like luxury, I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying this style of living is not about Lux and, and the things that you have is about getting in tune with your rhythm of life, with the flow of life, with yourself. It's about becoming more self-aware. It's about coming, becoming more intuitive. It's about doing more things that allow you to slow down and be present. And as the pastor, whatever he wants to call himself, said today, he talked about how we just, if we feel like we have too much space in our life, that something is wrong, it's foreign to us to slow down and have a softer, slower life. So all I'm saying really is when you find that moment to truly be present, turn off the phone, just be you don't have to capture every fucking moment, especially for us creators. And I know a lot of creators, this is their paycheck, blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying like, you don't have to film every fucking thing. You don't have to do everything. You can slow down. You can soften. You can be present and, and, and t become in tune with yourself and enlightened with your own vibration and your own soul's wisdom and just be and see what the universe has for you without doing all this thing. It's not, an, it's not if you want to be a part of that aesthetic, great, but it's not an aesthetic. It's an actual state of being that anyone can achieve no matter what's in their bank account, no matter what ethnicity they are and nothing you can achieve it but i think we have to get out of these mindsets that it has to look a certain way or whatever break the mold you guys that's what i try to do i try to break the mold and just be unique be how god built me and you're always going to be changing so your authenticity is always going to change it's never going to stay the same if you're truly growing just don't you don't have to get caught up in the social media aspect of it it's not oh, i went to the spa and i have my chanel glass and my champagne and or it's not even spiritual stay i went in the the forest and i spent 59 million hours out there and I feel it's not that it's getting in tune with your life and whatever whatever it is presenting for you that's how you follow what makes you slow down and be more present in your life and be more enlightened with your self-development your wisdom your spirituality your whatever your essence that's what it is so that is my spiel on slowing, slow living, soft living. And I could go more in depth, but this video is more so, I guess, tailored towards the 
aesthetics of it, not the people who are actually out here trying to show you what it means, what it really is to truly slow down and to truly be softer and gentler and more compassionate with yourself and to go more with the flow of the seasons and the na mother nature and the moon, the stars, the universe, God, source, whatever you believe in. That's more so what I'm talking about. So if you found this video enjoyable, entertaining, or you just like me, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to keep up with me, my social media links are in the description box. I also have a tarot channel that I upload to and give tarot messages that are more so get catered towards self-development, spirituality, and a little sprinkle every now and then of love, shadow work, and all that type of stuff. Um, this channel is where I kind of go in depth with my insights on life, and I just keep it real, and I keep it from my perspective. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell for all notifications, and I'm going to see y'all later. Um, shout out to... Um, Shout out to the company for these beautiful um, pieces of jewelry that y'all seen earlier in the video. Anyways, peace and love, and I'm going to see y'all later. I'm hungry. I'm about to drink my smoothie. Bye.